Once upon a time, a minister named Monty was the king's favorite. Many courtiers were jealous of him. Once, they decided to have Monty removed from the minister's post and asked Robert, the king's brother-in-law, to take Monty's place. But the king will never agree. While Monty is here, said Robert. Ask your sister to plead your case with the king, said one courtier. That's a good idea, said Robert. The next day, he persuaded his sister to talk to the king about it. When the king came, the queen requested him to make her brother the minister in place of Monty. This surprised the king, who had not expected such a request. He needed somebody intelligent and capable to help him run the vast empire. And Monty was the man best suited for the job. Also, he needed a valid reason for removing Monty. Give him a tough task to do. And when he fails, you can remove him, suggested the queen. In that case, you can suggest a task yourself, said the king. When you are taking a stroll in the garden, ask him to fetch me. I will make sure that he does not succeed, she said. The king agreed to the queen's request. The next day, while he was taking a stroll, the king sent for Monty. The king told him to get the queen. If you fail, you shall be removed from the post of minister, added the king. Monty realized that his enemies were behind this well-thought-out plan. To save himself, he came up with another plan and took the help of a messenger. He went to the queen's palace to escort her to the king, who was in the garden. At the same moment, the messenger arrived with a private message for him. Monty excused and walked aside to hear the message. Meanwhile, the queen was curious to listen to the message. So she tried to overhear what they were saying. But the only words she could hear were, She is beautiful. Monty then went back to the queen and said, the situation has changed. You need not come, queen. Then Monty left. But the queen became very suspicious. She hurried to the palace garden, only to find the king alone. The king was surprised to see her there. Despite her promise. She repeated Monty's words. Just because Monty said the situation had changed. You came running here? Said the king, amused. How can I tell you that it was the fear of a beautiful maiden with you? That brought me here. Thought the queen. Just then, Monty came. And the king said, Monty, as usual. You have won. 